Hello parents, I am Dr. Tanisha Burke, parent coach and psychologist. Welcome to our Strengthening Families Through Science series. In today's video, we're going to talk about positive parenting phrases that you can use instead of, because I said so, when your child is objecting and asking why to your requests or commands. As parents, we want to raise our children to be independent, responsible, and respectful. But sometimes it can be challenging to find the right words to communicate with our children in a positive and effective way. One of the most frustrating phrases we can use as parents is to say, because I said so. When we say, because I said so, this shuts down communication and discourages critical thinking in our children. No matter the circumstance, we all want to raise our children to be independent, responsible, and respectful. Using positive communication is a powerful way to do that. We also reduce power struggles when we use these phrases instead of because I said so to our children whenever they're objecting or asking why regarding a decision that we have made. So let's dive in and explore some helpful phrases that can promote healthy communication and relationships between you and your children. Now parents, as you listen to these phrases, I want you to pause and to focus on what you're thinking, feeling and deciding when you're listening to these phrases. When you hear these phrases, compare that to because I said so. So if I said to you, because I said so, what would you be thinking, feeling, deciding? Compared to when I use these phrases, what are you thinking, feeling, deciding? You can see the difference in your body. And if you are able to notice the difference, it would be the same thing with your children. And going through this exercise will also help you to realize why it's important to use these phrases instead of because I said so. The first phrase we can say instead of because I said so is I can see why you might be feeling this way and I want to talk to you about it. This phrase acknowledges your child's feelings and demonstrates that you're willing to have a conversation with them. It also shows that you're open to hearing their perspective and working together to find a solution. The second option, instead of saying, because I said so, is let's explore the reasons behind my decision. This phrase encourages critical thinking skills and helps your child to understand the reason behind your decisions. It shows that you're willing to explain your thought processes and help your child to develop their own decision making skills. The third alternative phrase to saying, because I said so, is what are your thoughts on why we should or shouldn't do this? This phrase encourages your child to express their thoughts and opinions, which helps to build their self-esteem and encourages their engagement in decision-making processes. It also helps you to understand their perspective and can lead to a more productive conversation. Our fourth alternative phrase is, I'd like to explain my reasoning and I hope it helps you understand. This phrase demonstrates that you're willing to explain your reasoning and provide context for your decision. It helps your child to feel heard and valued, and it can lead to a more positive outcome. I want us to work together to come up with a solution that works best for us. This is the fifth alternative that we can use instead of saying, because I said so. When you use this phrase, it demonstrates that you're willing to collaborate with your child to find a solution that meets everyone's needs. It encourages teamwork and can help to build a sense of respect and trust. Our sixth alternative phrase to saying, because I said so, is let's think about the potential outcomes of this choice and decide together. This phrase encourages your child to think critically about the potential outcomes of their choices. It helps them to develop their decision-making skills and promotes a sense of responsibility for their actions. I am open to hearing your perspective and making the decision together is an alternative to saying because I said so. When you use this phrase parents, it demonstrates that you value your child's inputs and are willing to work with them to find a solution. It helps to build their confidence and encourages a collaborative approach to problem solving. 
Our eighth alternative phrase to because I said so is, I'm confident in my decision, but I'm willing to discuss it further with you. This phrase acknowledges that you've made a decision, but also shows that you're willing to hear your child's perspective and discuss the, the decision further. It can lead to a more productive conversation and a greater sense of understanding between you and your child. The next alternative phrase is, I trust you understand my reasoning and to make the right choice. So this phrase demonstrates that you have faith in your child's ability to understand and process information. It encourages them to take responsibility for their choices and promotes a sense of trust and respect. Our final positive parenting phrase that we can use instead of because I said so is, I appreciate your curiosity and willingness to understand. This phrase demonstrates that you value your child's curiosity and interest in understanding the world around them. It helps to build their self-esteem and encourages a love of learning and exploration. Parents, remember, parenting is a journey and it's okay to make mistakes and learn from them. These positive parenting phrases may help promote healthy communication and relationships between you and your children. These phrases encourage critical thinking, responsibility, and collaboration, which are all important skills for children to develop as they grow and mature. Thank you so much for watching our video on positive parenting phrases we can use instead of saying because I said so. We hope you found these phrases helpful and feel more confident in using positive communication with your children. In the comments below, leave a comment and let us know which phrase works for you. Also, we would love to know what you were thinking, feeling, and deciding when you heard these phrases. Did they make you feel heard? Did they make you feel understood? Or did you feel rejected? Did you feel unheard? Let us know what impact those phrases had on your energy and mood as you listened to them. Before we go, remember to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell as well to hear more helpful tips and advice on parenting and family. See you in the next video and goodbye for now.